So, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Self-Development with Tactics podcast. I am here and I'm recording once again an audio-only version and I think that I'm gonna have to keep that for quite a bit now. Um, today I've... Uh, I actually didn't have to work still. It's been a pretty shitty day to be honest. Really shitty day. I've been, you know, angry again about... You know, uh, on one hand, for example, waking up way too early and um, I don't know, like I just don't feel that I've been able to use this day properly. Workouts have also been shit, eating habits have also been not too good and um, just overall the day was just really not satisfying, really, really, really not satisfying to any point, to any degree, to any whatsoever, and, um, well, this can really be pissing me off, um, as people, I think, can also understand and, and, and see, and, well, but now I'm, I'm willing to record another episode so that I don't have to do it tomorrow, I am trying to make tomorrow a bit easier for me, since I have to work again, then I finally, finally, finally have two days off, um, yeah, in which I'm hopefully gonna be better and I'm also hopefully gonna be able to relax a bit and, and calm down and well, we're gonna go ahead with the Stoicism subreddit because I think that in the past few days I've been going through so many credible posts and so many credible questions that I think are just worth going through every single day that I've decided to do so once again. So, for all those who post about how I acted strict, well, I've been talking about that. What about um, top? Let's see what that is. I just want to be present. I just uninstalled Discord. How to deal with getting attack attached way too early into a relationship? Might be a good thing, but I'm not quite sure. What are the best exercises for beating procrastination and become productive? I think the best thing to to do that is, even though it isn't always applicable, but just doing something that you like. And if it is something that you like, you're anyway going to do it. And time is going to pass, things are going to be fine, and you are going to be fine as well, you know, because it is something that you enjoy, it is something that you like. But besides that, at my point of view, and I'm not even going to bother going through the comments, having a plan, having a plan, yeah, having a plan, structuring things optimally for you, you know, because you hopefully know how you're working in terms of how your mind is working, how your body is working, in which, you know, time periods you're the most efficient and then put the most effort into those things that you have to do. I mean, for example, I like doing quite a bunch of things in the morning because I know that in the morning I'm the most productive. And so I'm, I'm doing that. But, um, well, Procrastination. Well, maybe understanding that I think quite a ton of things are about understanding, you know, as well as it is with procrastination. I mean, understanding that you're going to feel better about yourself if you do that thing is probably going to make you do it. And it's all about habits, you know, building habits. Of course, you know, the first few times of doing something that you probably don't really like, it's going to suck. It really is. But um, sometimes we can find joy in things that we actually dislike. And sometimes we, well, um, we are also able to then get something out of that. And, and basically build those habits and, and build those sequences of things that we do every single day. That just make us do certain things that even we don't like, you know. And also finding reason behind whatever the fuck we are doing. For example, I don't like cold showering. Even though, I gotta be honest, I feel better after a cold shower than a warm one. And, um, which I've actually felt today, just before. Like, after my cold shower, my mood tremendously changed for the better. It really, really, really is interesting and, and strange. But, but yeah, in the end, it's about habits. And when it comes to habits, then James Clear is always gonna be the best person, the best guy, the best uh, 
mentor, whatever you want to call him, to listen to. And also his book, Atomic Habits, is amazing. There are pretty great summaries of that. And also his website provides you and me and everybody with a ton of insights for free that are extremely, extremely valuable and, um, well, basically also able to make your life a bit better and get you a pretty... Uh, get you a bit closer to you having better habits and you changing your habits and you um, establishing new habits. I don't want to talk about creating because we don't create habits, but maybe establishing is a bit of a better word. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, this lady was very rude to me and my mother. Was it right for me to hold my tongue? I know what Marcus Aurelius says about Stoic knowing the difference between good and evil and not to be implicated in ugliness, but I feel like this is the circumstance. I should have berated her, at least just for being rude to my dear old mother, especially since since she was being so horrible about something we knew nothing about. I was holding my tongue, virtue and self-control, a weakness. Hmm. Yeah, you did the right thing. This random lady's words should have no effect on you. So there is no need to stop to her level. Or, I'm sorry, stoop to her level, probably. I understand wanting to defend a loved one, but getting into a verbal fight with some stranger might just upset your mother even more. Better to just stay silent and love it off afterwards. I thought the same way. We did actually love it off later, lol. There you go. Because... What? <laughs> there you go. You can look back on it as a funny memory and the lady is likely still bitter over it. It all comes down to perspective. Oh man, yeah, good question. This is a welcome change from all the bullshit. How do unfeeling robot posts? <laughs> How do unfe- <laughs> Why did you do what you did and what could have happened if you did different? It might be that you have identified an ethical or moral obligation to your mother and feel you failed to meet that by just standing here or there. It might be that you could have stood up for her and that you have made her feel good or maybe you are worried not doing so made her feel bad. That's pretty legit. Also, it would probably make her happy to hear you're thinking about this now. So like, opportunity not missed. If you were in that situation again, knowing that you know now what... Knowing... Knowing what you know now, how could you at once show your mother you care about her and will defend her and act in a manner consistent with the the principles of stoicism. I held my tongue because I didn't want to judge based off of a first impression. I didn't know what the lady might have been going through or why she was like that. I'm like that sometimes, but I also feel compelled to protect my mother and family, so I don't know which is more important. Um, By the way, the whole protecting thing, I... I am a certain type of person. I when a loved one, and especially when it comes to a girlfriend uh, of mine, if there is something going on, I guess that that really I'm gonna be a fucking animal, you know, um, which not necessarily has to be good, really not, but probably <laughs> probably bad, um, but well, it's it's. Difficult, you know, seeing that somebody might be insulting a loved one of mine, somebody that I appreciate, somebody that is, um, you know, meaning a lot to me. That's that's some some area that's probably going to make me really angry. You know, especially when it comes to physical things, you know, hitting a loved one of mine. Well, then I probably explode. <laughs> anyway, if you were in that situation again, knowing what you know, blah, 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 that part wasn't rhetorical. Well, I mean, it was, well, I mean, it was, but it's the important part, and you seem to have stopped reading midway through the first sentence of the post. Well, you know, people being just overly weird about that thing again. So I'm not gonna, not gonna read further, I guess. But I think it's been the right thing to do, you know, especially knowing that afterwards they laughed it off and everything was fine and everything was good. Like, you know, why should you have done differently, you know? Why should you have done it in a different way? There, I guess, at least in my point of view, um, there's no way things could have been better than that. So, 
everything fine and everything good. I think frequently about my mistakes. It keeps me from evolving. I think the strategy to start being consistent, focused and evolved with my life is to frequently ask myself, what is the essential right now? My habits slash behaviors I can control. Well, yes, I think it is an amazing question and I think it is also a pretty good standard and um, ethical thought, moral thought to live by. What is the right thing to do? What should I be doing now? What is the right thing for me to do now? Even if it might not always be easy, and it is definitely not going to be easy, especially when it comes to interpersonal interactions, it is going to be really difficult and things are going to be fucked up. But I, well, I believe that it makes sense. And I believe that is a, as I said, a good standard to live by. And definitely for the long term, <laughs> well, the right thing to do quite, you know, to always do the right thing, you know, is, is probably going to be the right thing in the short term and also in the long term. Even if it is going to be very, very difficult in the short term, it is going to make you feel a certain way, probably proud, probably just um, confident, maybe as well, if you're doing it in the long term. But yeah, I think that I'm going to end it there, so... I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.